It is important to feel comfortable moving around the topics of your discussion forums to make your experience more manageable. Using the discussion list pane can be an easy, easier and more efficient way to navigate between topics. The discussion lists pane also gives you an idea if there are any posts within a forum or a topic that you have not read. If you want to mark all the threads as read, you might want to review the tutorial on this subject. If you do not understand the structure of the discussion tool, you should also review the, the, the tutorial on that subject. So this is about navigating around. So I'm going to click on the Submission Review tab, click on Discussions. I'm going to click on a topic because in order to see what kind of posts are going on in there, I need to click on the name of the topic. So I click on the name of the topic and you're going to know that a post is unread because uh, it has a thick blue, blue dark line, line on the left hand side of the topic. In, in order for me to have this read, I would click on the name of the topic and then when I come back to view the topic, then it is read. So once I go into here, let's say I now want to go back and, and navigate to another topic. But instead of clicking on the discussion list um, breadcrumb link, which will take me back, and then click on another one and scroll through and click on that, there's something called the discussion lists pane. And if I click on the icon, this is a much more efficient way of navigating between topics. What you'll notice is that these are my forums. And you'll notice that this tells me there are seven. That seven means that there are um, that's how many posts are not read. If I click on that, it then gives me a list of all the topics within that forum. And again, the numbers within that forum, within those topics, provide me with information about that there are three on uh, three posts that I have not read. If I click on that, it takes me into that specific topic, and then I can see which ones are not read and that's because the newest threads are shown up first. But I can also click on this filter by to let me see only the unread posts so I can very quickly navigate between those and go ahead and read those. And now when I want to go to my next post, so if I go in here and I've read this post and maybe I even reply to it, you know, as an instructor I may reply and um, again I go back to the topic here and let me go back into this one and I'm going to go ahead and just read these and that makes me read them. Now if I navigate back here you'll notice that it has a zero which means that I've read all of those posts and I can navigate to my next topic. So this is the most efficient way of navigating around the discussion area and all, viewing all of your topics. One other thing that you can do if I scroll down to the bottom is I can pin the topics list. If I pin the topics list it'll always be there. And the only problem I see with this is that it takes up uh, valuable real uh, screen real estate. So if you click on the hide topics uh, list it goes back into the little icon that I can click on at any time wherever I am within the discussion topics area.